Hey guys, John Trousdale here at PRI 2014, and we are here with Power Auto Media in the chassis engineering booth. I'm joined here by Kurt Perry. Now, Kurt, you've got bigger, faster, and stronger as sort of the cover all descriptors of your new products. But before we get there, I want to touch a little bit on the new ownership change, some big changes in your, uh, in your ownership. Yeah, about a year and a half ago, the GM that had been uh, overseeing the company, the day-to-day uh, -day manufacturing, the day-to-day -day operations of the company, uh, bought the company from the original owner. So now, a year and a half later, we're up and running and just pushing forward, trying to be more progressive. That's great. So a guy who'd been in on the ground floor from day one is now running the show. Yes, he is. He started about three years after Chassis Engineering opened, which was about 1980. Uh, Clayton started about 1983, 84, became GM around 2000, and then uh, last year was 2013, uh, became the owner of the company. That's great. Now, you guys have obviously been around for a long time, and you've seen a lot of change in the racing and performance industry. How are you responding? Tell me about what you're doing that's new. Well, er everybody's got the the... the the standard wishbone, the standard ladder bars, uh, but we've found that those were designed back when you know five six hundred horsepower was was a lot, um, and they still work very well today for you know even up to a thousand plus horsepower. But nowadays we've got cars that are three thousand pounds pushing um, you know two thousand horsepower. Well, the standard ladder bar is probably going to do it. But we just don't know how long. So we've come up with new ladder bars, come up with new wishbones, things that are bigger, stronger, you know, for the bigger, stronger, faster cars. So Kurt, keeping with the bigger, faster, stronger theme. Your outlaw ladder bar, I understand that's really just an upgrade of what you guys have been doing for a long time to meet these new, more powerful cars out there. Yeah, basically what we did was we took and redesigned the standard ladder bar, which has been strong for everybody, all the manufacturers, for years and years. So what we did was nowadays we're building cars that are got 2,000 horsepower, weigh 3,000 plus pounds, and those will still work, but we decided to upgrade and combine the ladder bar uh, with a four link, the adjustability of four link. So what we've done is the lower bar now is inch and three eighths instead of one inch. Uh, it's all chromoly uh, construction. The upper bar now adjusts like a four link, so you can adjust your pinion angle and you can adjust your preload by just cracking a couple of the jam nuts, making your adjustment, tighten it back up and go racing. We also split the back of the ladder bar so it was a little wider, so you get a little bit more, um, a little more leverage than you used to in the standard ladder bar. Okay, so strength and some improved tunability as well. Yes. Now tell me about your XTR wishbone. I understand that's another another product that you're upgrading right now. Yeah, that's part of uh, when we started new with, with Clayton, uh, with the new ownership, was trying to be more progressive and pick up the, uh, the production and the style of everything that we're doing. And what we did was the wishbone was a standard wishbone, basically like just about everybody else had. But what we've done now is gone up to inch and a quarter, 095 chromoly. We give them a three quarter half inch chromoly rod in with NAS bolts, which just makes everything a lot bigger, stronger. The slide tube is now pre-welded and it's all fit with the inch and a quarter sl uh, slip uh, joint for it, which also has the uh, three quarter half inch uh, rod end in it also. So everything is just bigger, stronger, better, machined. It's just a nicer piece. All right, now for guys out there who are familiar with what you guys have been doing forever but want some more information, where can they go online? Uh, go to www.chassisengineering.com. Great, Kurt, thanks for being here with us at Power Auto Media covering PRI 2014.